So thank you, Mr. President. Uh, as of today, the nation has performed over 111 million tests for the virus causing COVID. On 13 separate days, we have achieved tests over 1 million per day, and our average test numbers are now approximately 920,000 per day. We are now at an inflection point in testing. We now have available on average 3 million tests per day, not counting pooled testing, which could multiply that number several fold. Nearly half of our current tests are rapid point of care. All of the actions of your administration, including aggressive use of multiple titles of the DPA, hundreds of millions of dollars in HHS and DOD investments, and regulatory flexibility, including over 200 FDA emergency use authorizations, CLIA enforcement discretion, and application of the PREP Act, have led us to this inflection point, which brings us why we're here today. On August 27th, after months of planning and only after one day after the FDA authorization, the Trump administration awarded a contract for $760 million to Abbott for the delivery of 150 million of these Abbott Binax Now rapid tests. The Binax Now detects the presence of the COVID antigen. It uses a specific nasal swab, and that, oops, that swab comes with the test, and it's made by Puritan. And the reason why Puritan swabs are here is because the administration used the DPA in $120 million in investment to make these swabs able for, to use by Abbott. It does not require an instrument to determine the result. It's, 15, it's in 15 minutes, the result. Testing may be performed by laboratories where the clear certificate of waiver. This is not a home test. But during the health emergency, SEMA Verma and CMS permits laboratories to extend their certificate to operate in temporary sites like schools or churches or parking lots. So though I, we anticipate that the test will generally be performed by a trained individual on a patient, I will demonstrate a self-swab for you to show you just exactly how easy the test is performed. So um, literally, it almost could not be easier. It starts with six drops of liquid onto this piece of paper. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's a nasal swab. And again, this is, uh, this is not the deep brain biopsy that we talk about. Uh, this will generally be done by a healthcare provider, but it can be done supervised. It's this easy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Into the test, twisted three times. The adhesive is pulled off, and you wait 15 minutes. And that is the test. It really could not be easier than this. This is a very sophisticated little piece of cardboard with lots of antibodies and incredible technology into that. We've already shipped 65,000 of these to disaster operations in California, Oregon, Texas, and Louisiana. And we have already shipped 2.1 million tests to 7,600 nursing homes, over 900,000 tests to assisted living, 300,000 tests to the Indian Health Service, and 339,000 tests to historically black colleges and university. Today, we start the shipment of 100 million tests to governors, beginning with a total of 6.5 million tests this week to be shipped this week. This is in addition to the continuing support to other priorities like nursing homes. Allocation to states and territories is based strictly on their relative population. Governors have the flexibility to use these tests as they deem fit, but we strongly encourage governors to utilize them in settings that are uniquely in need of rapid, low-tech point-of-care tests, like opening and keeping open our K-12 through schools, supporting critical infrastructure and first responders, responding to outbreaks specifically in certain demographics or locations, and screening of surveillance in congregate settings. Mr. President, we just completed a briefing to the governors and their state health officials from the sit room and we heard words like game changer for their states. Thank you, Mr. President, for your leadership and support of all our efforts to defeat this virus. Thank you very much, Admiral. And let me ask you, uh, Governor Reeves, do you, uh, do you agree? Would you like to say something? 